friends. Today we're talking about greatest common factor. Ah, if you don't know what a factor is, please watch the video titled Factors uh, within the multiplication section uh, category. But fractions, you have to know. When you're dealing with fractions, you have to know what factors are and how to work with factors and find factors. Okay? The greatest common factor, the GCF, is the largest number that both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by. So, let's look at the factors of 9. 9. 1 times 9, right? 1 and not 1, and that number is always the factor. Uh, 2 times, no. So now it's 3 times 3 equals 9. And that's it. 1, 3, and 9. That's, that's all there is for factors uh, of 9. 12. So we have 1 times 12, okay? 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. 5 times, no. Okay. So what is the greatest common factor? Greatest, the largest number, and it has to be common. 3. So what do we do now? We have the greatest common factor. We want to, we use the GCF to reduce fractions, to simplify fractions. So 9 divided by 3 our greatest common factor, GCF, 12 divided by 3 equals, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4. 9 twelfths is equals 3 fourths. And we found that by finding and using our greatest common factor, our GCF. So, GCF, big deal, big, big, big deal. Right? In order to reduce a fraction, simplify a fraction, you must find the GCF and then divide by it. The numerator and the denom and divide the numerator and the denominator by that same factor. So, factors of 8 and 12. Last, last problem we have 9 out of 12. What is 8 out of 12? 1 and 8. 2 4 two, 2 times 4 is 8. That's it. Okay? 1 and 12. 2 times 6. 3 times 4. Anything else? No. Because 4 times 3 is the same thing. We already have it listed. Here's our GCF. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 8 twelfths is 2 thirds. 8 twelfths is 2 thirds. Okay. So, two more examples and then we will finish this video. Factors of 6, 1 times 6, 2 times 3, four, 3 times, oh, 2 times 3 is great, 4 times, no, that's it, that's it for 6, 18, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, 3 times 6, okay, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, so it's not 4 or 5, and 6 is, ah, 3. It's our GCF. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Right? 18 divided by 3 equals 9. 2 ninths. Simplest form. Your GCF, you must know it. You must be able to find it. You know, use these charts and these columns. Be organized and do lots of scratch work. You've got to write down lots of things when you're dealing with fractions. 5 has the factors of 1 and 5. Okay, so I'll just, let me divide it by 5. The 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 5 out of 20 equals 1 fourth. That's it. So this is video, a quick video on a greatest common factor, otherwise known as G, C, F, GCF, greatest common factor. So have a great day. We'll talk to you next time.